You smell that? That is the smell of fear. fear. Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and you're watching Vlog of Note. In this video, we're going to talk about what is the Wix and what investing strategy that you should adopt based on it. Let's get started. So first of all, usual disclaimer here, I'm not a SEBI registered investment advisor or a certified financial planner. If you want to make any investments, you should do your own market research. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about the structure of this video. I've divided it up into three parts. The first part, I'm going to tell you what is the Wix. The second part, I'm going to tell you what it is doing right now. And the third part, I'm going to reveal an investing strategy that you can consider based on the Wix. If you want to know what that is, you should stick around till the end of this video. Now let's jump in. So first of all, you need to know what is the Wix. The Wix or the Volatility Index is based on the work of two professors, Professor Brenner and Galai at Hebrew University. In 1989, they wrote a paper about measuring volatility of various assets including stocks, interest rates and currencies. A couple of years later, the Chicago Board of Options Exchange hired a certain Bob Whaley to create a computed volatility index based on the work of these two professors and that's how the Wix was born. How is the Wix calculated? Well, you don't want to get into the weeds of that. It's very complicated. But suffice to say, it measures the implied volatility of the index like the S&P 500 based on the difference between call and put options over the next 30 days. What you need to know is that India also has a Wix. It's called India Wix. It was ruled out by the National Stock Exchange in 2003 and it's the exact same formula as the CBOE Wix. However, obviously it's based on the India Nifty 50 index. Now let's get to what the Wix is doing right now. So on February 21st and 22nd, the Wix in the US and the Wix in India soared by 14% and 7% respectively and investors were panicking. There are two reasons why the Wix is going up. The first one has to do with inflation. You see, inflation data in the US came in at 6.4% versus an expectation of 6.2%. That doesn't seem all that bad, especially when you strip out all of the volatile elements and consider that core inflation only came in at 5.6% versus an expectation of 5.5%. Here's a quick aside here. In India, we have an inflation target of between 2 to 6%. In the US, they target 2% inflation. I don't know what kind of range is 2 to 6%. Anyway, inflation was higher than expected and that freaked out Wall Street. Also, another factor is the rise in interest rates. See, at the last meeting, the Fed raised interest rates by 0.25% or 25 basis points. Now, that doesn't seem too bad, but recently we had the release of the Federal Open Market Committee minutes and they said that some of the Fed members actually wanted to do a 0.50% increase or a 50 basis point increase. Let's get something straight here. We are not going to have an interest rate cut in 2023. It's better that you get that out of your system. However, we might have at least three interest rate hikes in 2023 alone and there is a 27% chance that the next interest rate hike by the Fed is going to be at least 50 basis points. By the end of this year, there is a very high likelihood that we will blow past the Fed funds target of 5.1%. Why is this such a bad thing? Because we use something called the discounted cash flow method. You take the present value of future cash flows of the company and then discount them back using the interest rate. And as the interest rate goes up, the discounted cash flow method implies a lesser value for companies. Now, all of this put together is making the market really uneasy. And if you want to know why, you have to go back to Benjamin Graham's book, The Intelligent Investor, who in 1949 created something called Mr. Market. Mr. Market is a manic depressive. If he's happy, he's really happy. If he's sad, he's super sad. But what he hates above everything else is uncertainty. See, if the market expects something bad to happen and it happens, then everyone's actually very happy. But if something bad is expected to happen and something worse happens, then everyone is incredibly sad. And that's the market. It creates an opportunity. 
In the final part of this video, let's look at what you should do based on the Wix. The conventional wisdom is when the Wix is high, you should buy and when the Wix is low, you should sell and go. However, this may not be accurate. The first voice we should hear from is Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett has famously said, it's best to be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. This does not mean that you should buy when the Wix is high. It basically means that you should have money lying on the side and you should take advantage of an opportunity because if there is no fundamental change in the actual business of a company and the stock price declines, it tells you that people are being fearful about the stock and that's when you should buy. The second voice we should hear from is Peter Lynch. See, the median value of the Wix is 20. So if it goes above 20, does that mean you should start buying? Well, Peter Lynch has said there are more people who have lost money anticipating a correction in the market than in the actual correction itself. Basically, it means if you wait for the wicks to start going up and then you start buying, you'll probably leave a lot of money on the table. So what is a good strategy based on the wicks? Well, in 2018, professors Moreira and Moore came up with a strategy called inverse correlation to the wicks. It means that when the wicks goes up, it's time for you to cut your equity exposure. Don't believe me? They base their research on the work of Robert Engels III, a person who won a Nobel Prize for his work in a similar field. Essentially, there are two assumptions here. Firstly, the Wix is a good measure of volatility. And secondly, these up and downs in the Wix actually come close together. And so investors should take advantage of them. Here's how they would do it. If the Wix goes up by 23% in a given month, then investors should reduce their equity exposure by 19% or 1 over 1.23. And similarly, if the Wix goes down by 23%, then the investors should increase their exposure to equity by 19%. Here are the takeaways from this video. The Wix is a volatility measure. It is not a fear gauge measure. Secondly, the Wix right now is quite high, but it's a factor of uncertainty. And thirdly, if you want to take advantage of the Wix, do not follow the mantra of when the Wix is high, you should buy. Rather, when the Wix is high, you should cut your equity exposure. If you do this, according to the data, you will beat the market. Let me know your own strategies based on the Wix in the comment section down below. As always, please go over to YouTube, subscribe to the Vlog of Note channel, ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video and I will see you guys in the next episode.